This is Glenn Delakian of Wamda Media. I'm here with Fadi Dow of Multilane. How are you, Fadi? Fine, thanks. Great. Well, thanks so much for speaking with Wamda as Entrepreneur of the Week. Um, I was wondering if you could tell our listeners what Multilane is and how you got started. Uh, Multilane is a leading developer of uh, uh, production test equipped and uh, interconnect test products for uh, the high-speed I.O., uh, for the optical communication, or what effectively is used as the interconnect for the cloud computing. Uh, the company was started in uh, uh, 2007 upon my return from the U.S., and uh, uh, it's located in, Leb in uh, uh, Mount Lebanon in Humel, actually my village of Humel. Great, great. So it looks like you're a serial entrepreneur. Can you briefly explain for our uh, user entrepreneur, entrepreneurial journey has been up to this point? Well, I started, I worked for one company for 15 years. Uh, Genrad was primarily, mainly engineering driven company, derivative of MIT in Boston. And after 15 years, I wanted to, uh, the entrepreneur bug had gotten to me. Uh, so I had built up enough energy experience uh, and decided that's it I'm not going to work for anyone else I'm going to just start companies and move fast much faster than uh, what you would normally do in a large company and I started uh, with uh, a number of companies the first one I started was uh, telephotonics uh, two years later we sold it to DuPont then I started uh, fiber grade uh, two years later I sold it to tsunami photonics then PXIT, two years later, sold it to Agilent uh, in 2006. Then I returned to Lebanon, and I wanted to uh, try the same thing here in Lebanon, mainly because uh, I've traveled around the world. I've visited every country that has high technology. I've uh, uh, conducted business with the high-tech world, and I felt and I always believed that uh, coming out of any meeting that there isn't anything that they do that we can't do. So I set it upon myself to create a high-tech company from Lebanon to enter and compete in a global market. So who your clients at Multilane um, and what products do you sell to them? Well, we sell to all the tier one customers. Uh, most of the tier one customers who form the bone of the internet or cloud computing, mainly the infrastructure companies. Our customers include uh, Cisco Systems, Juniper Networks, Alcatel, uh, Ericsson, uh, uh, you name it, Uptalent, uh, uh, Google, uh, Dell, Intel, all of these are uh, customers of Multilane. Uh, these are the system guys. There's also the semiconductor companies, uh, Broadcom, Cortina, uh, 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 Semtech, etc. So there is a f quite a few uh, companies, uh, uh, mainly mainly all the tier one. Almost every company that is developing uh, uh, high speed devices for uh, for the backbone of the internet, mainly for uh, all the communication market. Okay. So okay. So for, for listeners who aren't too familiar with high tech. Um, Engineering stuff. Can you explain what a semiconductor is and how <laughs> how your products uh, work particularly? <laughs> right. So, uh, uh, semiconductor is the semiconductor process is the way for fabricating chips that are used to uh, power up the computer, the source ICs. So this is what semiconductor is. So in order for building a network, typically you need the semiconductor device you need the host board or the computer that that's, that uh, connects this device to the outside uh, module and you need the optical communication uh, uh, links to connect computer to another or one server to another or one storage device to another and hence you have the network so this is at very simplified terms so what does multi-lane do in that area we uh, build products that uh, are used to qualify and enable both the, semi the, the semiconductor devices 
as well as the networks that they connect with or the interconnect devices that network them together. Okay. We are effectively are competing uh, and in a couple areas we are the leader in the 100 gig interconnect test market, uh, global test market. So our customers are all global, nothing okay. in the region. Okay, so what is it like then to have a global focused company located in Lebanon? What are some of the struggles you face um, being located here? Well, there, there are a lot of challenges. Uh, from a customer point of view, uh, the high tech is a global open market. Everybody accepts that uh, technology can be anywhere, but everyone uh, first uh, asks the question, lovely. <laughs> Never thought there'd be high tech in Lebanon. Uh, so, uh, but then eventually when we start engaging, they accept uh, and we conduct business as normal. The challenges operating in Lebanon, in Lebanon are numerous. Mainly, the ecosystem doesn't exist. Uh, the subchain is dramatic, is uh, uh, very challenging. Uh, and obviously we don't have, we have very poor infrastructure. Uh, but uh, out of all that, we manage and we forge different ways to operate within the environment that we're, uh, that we're given. Great. So what about talent then? Do you find uh, major talent, young talent in Lebanon? This is also one of the challenges. Uh, uh, this is a very small industry in Lebanon. It's nascent. Uh, uh, the education system is, uh, can be improved quite a bit so that we have sufficient uh, qualified candidates to work and operate in, this, uh, in, in our environment. We typically hire fresh graduates and we train them. So after two years, they really become productive. So we make a significant investment in training uh, the talent so that they can be productive in this industry. Whereas operating in a global market, if you need an expert in a certain field, you can hire a contractor. It's nothing to do with here. And obviously there are challenges of the law, the employment laws, the training, and, and so on. But effectively, we still made it work, still competing successfully in a global market. That's great. That's great. So do you have any words of advice then for entrepreneurs seeking to start their own tech startup in Lebanon or in the Middle East? Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> There's a lot of, lot of advice, not, uh, not something to uh, 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 easy uh, communicate in a couple of words. Obviously, uh, they have to do, or for every entrepreneur, they have to work from their heart, follow their passion, and they have tremendous passion to do what they do. They are, there are challenges for doing what we do out of Lebanon, mainly because of uh, the numerous challenges that we faced. But, but one special uh, point of advice is uh, I don't always recommend uh, for uh, young, fresh graduates to, to be an entrepreneur immediately. I believe getting uh, uh, a little of experience under their belt, a few years of experience under their belt, is a lot more valuable to help them succeed in becoming a successful entrepreneur and for their uh, enterprise to yield uh, great results. Definitely. So, That's great. It's a bit of a reality check for, <laughs> for new grads. Yeah. It's very good. So then what's next for Multilane? I hear you're going to the OFC. Uh, yes, uh, the OFC is, stands for Optical Fiber Communication Conference. It, it, it takes place once a year, typically in California. Uh, we will be exhibiting uh, a, a lineup of products, especially the 100 gig products, at OFC. And we're, uh, we'll be getting, uh, I believe, tremendous traction as we're already starting to get a lot of traction. Uh, on a product. Uh, so we will be uh, side by side with most of the tier one companies uh, in the market. So that uh, that show will take place uh, next uh, next month. Well, best of luck and thank you for speaking with Wamda. Sure. Thank you very much.